So what's up? This is uh, John Huey, and uh, this is not the uncomfort zone because uh, I'm not in the Z. But uh, I'm gonna talk about something that's uncomfortable. So today it is still brought to you by Blacktopia.org and the Blacktopia Facebook group. Uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to my boy Jay on the East Coast, was cracking man. So. Uh, I'm out here riding my bike, beauty, wonderful, beautiful, uh, sunny Southern California, waiting for a rainstorm to come in. Yeah, it doesn't rain in Southern California. It does, and we're about to get some. So anyway, before we get this rain, I figured I'd get my bike ride in. I'm on a halfway to my 11 mile ride today. It's just to kind of get myself back in, this, back in it. I've been off it for a minute. But let's get back to uh, what I feel is not necessarily un uncomfortable, but it pisses me off. What is up with everybody saying the narrative, the narrative, the narrative, the narrative, the narrative? You know, it's like, it sucks. It's stupid. Just say what the problem is. Stop saying the narrative. Just because you use a big word doesn't mean that you don't, the story, the, the take, whatever you know controlling the story that's all you're saying controlling the narrative you know, are, are you a narrator are, are you the the person in the background like in the wizard of oz behind the curtain and, and controlling everything no get off of it so yeah and then my next thing is um what is everybody's problem with hillary clinton um she's not perfect but hell, Barack Obama wasn't perfect. And to, to say that, you know, I hate her, I hate her, I hate her, what has she done to you personally? I mean, really, it, it's like, uh, like she went out and, and, and did something to you personally. You know, you want to talk about everybody has a past, and I'm not trying to excuse her for the wrong shit that she's done. Don't get me wrong. You know, if, uh, you know, you, if, if I'm married and my wife cheats, and I decide to stay with her, that's my business. If some dude comes talking about, you know, I slept with your wife, well, I'm gonna be pissed. You know, I mean, the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and it's a bunch of, you know, I'm gonna be pissed at her, I'm gonna be pissed at them, and, and, if, and if I decide I'm gonna stay with her, I'm gonna have her back. So there's nothing wrong with that. For her to have her man's back, you know, dude to dog, straight up, there it is. Did, has she said some disparaging things about black people in her past? I'm sure she has. And there are things out there, you know, her husband. But uh, again, let's, let's, let's compare apples to apples, okay? Saying something bad about somebody once or twice in your life or hell, over a 30 year public career doing some dumb things is not that huge of a deal when you look at the big picture. When you got somebody that's saying and doing things now that is gonna that's going to hurt you more, and 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 she, well, she's not good for well, Trump isn't good for us anyway, and that's not the argument. She's better for us than Trump is better for us, you know. And what I mean is, what is his actual policies? Give me one solid policy that that is going to benefit black people, brown people, Asian people. Hell, white people who don't make millions of dollars. What is he proposing that is going to help you? Now, people want to get on this thing about the, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, how it's it's costing a lot of money. Okay, when you dig deep and look down off into it, the reason why it's going up is because there are so many Republican state-controlled states that opted out of it. So when you have something that's based on the more people that are involved in it, the lower the cost. So if you start taking people out of it, there's called sabotage and it makes the price go up. So people need to just be real and honest about the situation, which they're not, don't seem to want to do. They want to talk about, oh, it's going up, a policy's going up, a policy's going up. Okay, why is it going up? That's the question. Because first, we let the insurance companies do what they want to do. Second, they took the teeth out of the the Affordable Care Act when they said it, it's not necessary and and you know that you don't absolutely have to have it. So when you start doing things of that nature and you take the teeth out of it, so now it, it, that's how you sabotage. It. They self-sabotage. So okay, so say all right. So all these people say, oh my, my policy is this, my policy is that. 
all right what was your policy and, and and exactly what was your policy before what kind of coverage did you get was it a real policy or was it one of those policies that oh, i pay i pay 19.99 a month but if something happens i gotta come out of the pocket two hundred thousand dollars before it kicks in okay and then what about these people who had a had a job that had insurance and they couldn't afford to leave the job because they couldn't go somewhere else because they couldn't get insurance anywhere else because unless they went to work for a large company they, they were uninsurable so they had to stick with the company that they were with so basically that's slave labor when you can't leave for one reason or another and if it's because of insurance purposes because you have a pre-existing condition and you want to and you don't like your job come on people wake up start use your brain again as long as you keep listening to somebody keeps it's just like music when if they want something to be a hit they'll keep playing it and playing and playing until you get comfortable with it and you're like oh man that's the jam when you keep saying somebody's crooked somebody's evil somebody's bad then you're gonna start saying oh she's bad she's crooked she's a liar okay what is the actual thing that you were talking about give me facts okay then we have facts on Trump he's been bankrupt multiple times there's there's a uh, on record where the guy that that was in control of the bankruptcy hearing said they kept him alive because he was worth more alive than dead he's cost more people money than I would have to say that she has okay and then you say well the, the, the embassy situation where you know and all that it's Benghazi okay let's, let's break Benghazi down okay did she not at first ask for more money a couple years in a row and what did Congress do they cut the budget so when you cut budget somewhere what happens when things go sideways is it the person who's in, in charge who asked for the money who couldn't get the money or the people who control the purse springs that won't give the person who knows what's going on the money so let's 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 back it up okay again how many how many embassies were attacked and, and how many people in embassies died over the last eight years versus the previous eight years not even close but we don't talk about that so let's let's get off of that let's come on you know we got a president that's got a 55 percent approval rating and what's up with that you know the one that we had a historical low i mean he started in the hole is everything perfect no but if we had a congress that was that had his back that and people that really had his back and went out and voted and kept everything under democratic control maybe we would have a one pair maybe we would have our tax reform maybe we would have these things done and people say well why he didn't do this why he didn't do that i'm sorry he did a lot he can't do everything i mean it's eight years and you're getting you're being fought tooth and nail all the way so do people say ask when they say well i don't want another uh four years of obama hell yeah i do i want another 20 years of obama because we're going in the right direction is it going fast enough no but we got to look in the mirror and take some of that responsibility ourselves so in turn i guess this did turn into an uncomfortable uncomfort zone i'm out here riding again and it's a beautiful day and usually i'm in the z today i'm on the bike i hope everybody has a good day please comment and again it's brought to you by blacktopia.org blacktopia the facebook group and the number 22 is always the color blue and the letter b all right peace out